In this video I'm going to show you how to customize and configure AutoCAD Electrical so that you can get it to work with your custom data on a shared network drive so that you can share all your libraries and symbols and projects with your colleagues across a network and they can be working in multiple different offices in different areas of the UK. Okay, so at the moment I've got a default AutoCAD Electrical installation, AutoCAD Electrical 2017. First thing I want to do is change the application options. So I'll go into application options and then I'm going to create a new profile. So I'm going to rename the original profile and I'm going to call it original. That's so I can go back to this profile at any point if I want to. And then I'm going to create a new profile and call it ACAD E. By default, AutoCAD will always load the ACAD E profile automatically. You can rewrite some of the background text files to change this, but it's easier just to rename the original and set the current as ACAD E and make that your custom profile. Okay, so then we need to go to the files area and we need to redirect our support file paths. So I have already created a custom area on my E drive. My E drive is my pretend server location. So this would be your server. Okay, so I've got a folder in here called AutoCAD Electrical and I've copied all the folders that I want to share across the network. These folders contain the libraries for the symbols, my custom libraries, my custom symbols, and also you contain things like the catalogs, yes, and also things like images in the support path. Let's just organize that. So we've got images in here, so any images I might want to use. And they've got list routine, plotters, templates. All these things you want to share across the network with all your users. Okay, so we're gonna direct everything to this folder here. Okay, so I'm gonna take a copy of this file path from here. And then I'm gonna write it into the options menu. So, I open the support file path location to start with and I come down and I can see all these user file names or file paths okay so these are the ones that would normally be sitting on your C drive as you can see and we want to share them across the network okay so first of all I'm going to go to this location here and I'm going to simply paste my file path in there Okay, and then I'm going to continue on replacing that file path as so. Okay. So all these folders now are pointing to my E drive, which is my server. So I'll just apply that. Okay, the next option I'm going to do, I'm going to set my templates folder to look at my templates. So here's my drawing template file location. And again, I'm just going to take out file path and leave that file path in. If I apply that now, I can decide which template I want for a quick new function. Okay, so if I select that and go browse, you can see that because I've directed it to my shared location, it's jumping straight to the shared location, and then I can pick whichever one I want to be my default template. So I'll open that one for now and apply that. Last, last thing I will do is um, set up my tool palettes and also I'll set up 
my uh, plot styles as well. Just check that. Uh, not that one there. It would be this one here. Printer support file pass. So this way I can share my plot styles and my printing settings. The templates and plotters and tool palettes, you need to do that for AutoCAD as well as AutoCAD Electrical. If you want to share templates and plot styles across the network. Okay, so once that's done, I click apply and OK. If I now create a new drawing with a quick new tool, which is this plus or this button here, or just Q new, you'll see that my default template is loaded automatically. Okay. The last thing I need to do is point my software at this location via the WD environment file which is this file here so in here I've already configured it to look to certain areas on my network drive uh, to pick up the correct folders for my custom libraries etc okay this little bit here SL library is standard library directory so that's whatever the application is looking at, which I've just set. So we, we know that's going to be okay as well. So we, you need to configure this environment file before doing any of this. So that's my custom environment file. What I will have in the background, let me just close AutoCAD Electrical. Okay, so now in the background, what you'll see is my default WD environment file, which is saved in documents, AutoCAD, or ACAD E2017, AE data, and we have in here our default WD environment file. If I quickly just open this up, you'll see that it has default locations within it. Okay, all standard library locations, etc. Alright, so what I need to do is just rename this whole folder. Call it old. That way the software cannot in any way see this folder. So it's going to definitely pick up my, my new folder on my E drive, which is here. And there's my new WD environment file. So all we need to do now is run AutoCAD Electrical. Okay, so AutoCAD Electrical is open, and if I open it, you'll see all my projects have disappeared because we're new, using the new environment file. If I just start a new drawing, we can see that we're going to pick up my default template here. If I select Open a Project, and just take me to my, my new location for my projects, and we'll just open up, I'll use this master project here. Right, okay, so what we need to do is just open a drawing, first drawing there. And if I click on the icon menu and come in here, right click and select properties, what we see now is my icon menu, it's the custom icon menu. And we can see that I have all my custom circuits. Which I can place down as I please. <clears throat> I've also got, if I go to my symbol builder, we can see that my library is being saved to my network location. We can see if I go to my icon menu, which icons are being picked up 
for the uh, for the uh, schematic symbols and this one here for the panel symbols so everything's working exactly as it should be my symbols are picking up my circuits are picking up just to check the symbol here's a custom relay just pop it on here and you can see that my custom relay is picked up nicely so providing all your users have the same settings and are directed in exactly the same way everyone will share libraries, they'll share templates, they'll share circuits they'll share projects etc etc hope you found this video useful please feel free to contact Mana Machine if you need any more help thank you, bye